everybody, it's Amanda from The Fundamental Home. It's time for my second grocery haul of the week. I'm actually adding this grocery haul to the one that I did at the beginning of the week where I got free groceries and I did a small grocery haul where I only spent $17. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link it up at the top here. So make sure you check that out first so you can understand the totals and how everything comes together. So I did that at the beginning of the week. The boys were graduating and it was a super fun time and we were out waiting for them so we picked up some groceries and, and it was like tiding us over until the end of the week when I had some time to do the rest of my grocery shopping. So today I went and got everything else and I got some amazing deals, people. I really did. I know I say that every week, but you're going to agree when you see them. You're going to be like, those are great deals. I'm not kidding you. But first let me show you the totals and I'm going to add what I got at the beginning of the week to what I got now. Okay, so this was my first total of the week, $17.33. And in addition to that, I went to the discount grocery store today and I spent $39.25. If you follow my grocery hauls, you know if I am spending $40 at the discount grocery store, there are some amazing deals happening. So yeah, yeah, can't wait to show you. And then also at Aldi, I popped in and spent $11.36. I actually had something else on my uh, list of things I wanted to get. And I said, you know what, I'm way too far over at this point. I spent $67.94. I'm like, that's it. I'm cutting it off. I'm not getting anything else. So we actually got no meat this week. This haul could totally be just about a vegan grocery haul. There's just a couple of dairy items. But other than that, I mean, it's ridiculous what we have going on here. So let me show you the receipts and then we will talk about what we got. Okay, so here are my two receipts. This one is from Aldi. It's $11.36. And this is my discount grocery store at $39.25. Okay, and this right here is what we purchased. Can you believe all this stuff? This table is absolutely cram full. I'm going to show you what I got at Aldi first. It's right here at the front of the table. The first thing I picked up was corn. They had ears of corn. They were $0.39 cents each. I picked up 12 of them because, you know, we got six people in our household. So if I'm going to do one meal with six and then another meal with six, that's two meals with corn. I'm gonna have over the next few days. So these were 39 cents each, like I said, so I spent $4.68. I picked up some cream of chicken soup. They were 49 cents each, so 98 cents for both. Grabbed some cauliflower. This is really pretty, it was $1.99. And of course, you know it's my favorite, kale, $3.49, had to grab that. All of that, that's it, that was $11 right there. Everything else you see on this table was the discount grocery store. I'm going to pull this out of the way so you can see what's behind it. Look at all that. Let me go back here and start telling you some prices of the things that I got there. First things first, we got to start with the chocolate. So we have some organic, semi-sweet chocolate um, chips for $1.50. I hear from people all the time who have trouble finding organic chocolate chips at a good price. Here you go. When I see them, I pick them up. $1.50 even cheaper than I can get regular ones at a dollar store. So this is a really good price. Uh, organic honey, we got that for $1.99. These boxes of cream cheese were $1 each, so I picked up two of them. Grab some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. It was $1.50. Got some tofu. We like to have some tofu scramble on occasion. So this was $1.49 for a thing of extra firm tofu. I got two things of sour cream. I'm going to tell you why in just a minute, but they were a dollar each. Super excited about that. Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese, guys. Three dollars for this whole block. I'm going to go around the table and show you over here. They had this pumpkin roll. I had to buy, guys. This is my impulse purchase of the week. It was a dollar fifty for a whole pumpkin roll. And the work that I would have to go into to make this yeah, it was easier just to buy it for $1.50, so I was happy to get that. Okay, so, so I told you about a few things. Let me tell you, everything else on this table that I'm going to talk to you about was $1. Okay? $1. So I got four things of bread. I got this Arnold whole grain oat nut bread, Arnold country potato bread, Thomas's bagels plain, Thomas's bagels maple French toast. Let me tell you something. This maple French toast smells amazing. Like I just want to keep smelling. It does smell like French toast. It smells so good. All of these, each of these was one dollar. Okay. I got a bag of lemons right here. It's a bag of four lemons. They all look really, really good. The whole bag of four lemons was one dollar. Right here. 
I got a bag of green peppers. In here is a bag of six beautiful green peppers, the entire bag, $1. I also got a bag of yellow peppers. There's only three in here. Yellow peppers, $1. So glad to have it. These whole carrots right here, guess what these were? Two for a dollar. So I guess it's kind of not exactly what I said, but, but I was counting them together. The whole carrots, two bags of carrots for one dollar. Great deal. I got this bag over here of baking potatoes. Now these are like the huge, I want to pull this out so you can see how big it is. Okay, this is my hand. It's like bigger than my hand. I could hide my hand on that, okay? These, this whole bag of six baking potatoes, because it had to be one for every member of the family, right? One dollar. One dollar. Now right here, you guys, this is my absolute favorite purchase of the week. All of these uh, blueberry containers, each pint was one dollar. So I went ahead and got a case, this case of 12 pints. I did in fact spend $12 on, but you know what? It was a good deal because it's way cheaper than you get them in the store. And we love blueberries. We're going to eat some. We're going to freeze some. We're going to make some pie. Remember I said I was going to tell you why I got the sour cream? Well, guess what? I'm going to make a blueberry sour cream pie. I cannot wait to show you how I make that because it is one of everyone's favorite, favorite dishes. So be on the lookout for that here soon. So we are super excited to have some blueberries. It's one of our favorite things to eat. So that's that. All of that was $39.25 and then the total of all of this and what I spent on Monday was $67.94. So we're still tracking the money and trying to stay relatively close to the budget. Let me talk to you about that in just one second. Okay, so we are trying to stock up and get ready for our low spend month in June, but we're trying not to spend way too much this month. So I'm really going to have to kind of keep it tight next week to make sure we're on track for uh, this year so far. I think Rick and I are actually going to do a sit down and try to figure out how much we've spent so far in groceries this entire year and try to add it all up together and see where we are and what our goals are for June. But June is going to be a low spend month. My friend Tangie and I have put together a beautiful calendar for you guys. Uh, if you want to join us on the January low spend if you want to join us on the June low spend month, we are going to have that released, Lord willing, this week. So keep your eye out on the Fundamental Home Facebook page and in Frugal Family Food page. Are you not following Frugal Family Food? I'm going to link that down here. Not the group. We have a Frugal Family Food page because our website is going to be launched this month. I know you guys are super excited about it. So keep your eye out and then you can join us for low spend month. We're going to give you that calendar and we're going to have some videos every day to help you and us <laughs> stay on track for our June low spend month. And uh, all you got to do is you'll sign up for the email and you get yourself a free calendar and you get to have access to all those videos. So it's going to be great. We're all going to work together. There might even be a secret Facebook group involved that's just for people doing the low spend challenge. So we are so excited to share all this with you guys as we all try to just rein that grocery budget in, because clearly I'm a little out of control. The $7, we gotta, gotta bring that down. Gotta bring it down. But who can resist these deals, guys? I mean, a dollar for everything. I will go crazy spending a dollar on some things, right? So, okay. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and put these groceries away. And this, this we're gonna get by until next Thursday, and it'll be just fine. We got loads of stuff here. Uh, but next week, we're gonna get, take a closer look at what we have so we can get ready for June low spend month. So one last thing before we go, let me just remind you that today for Frugal Family Food, my very lovely friend Sarah, I'm going to link her channel up here at the top. She's Budget Girl. She did a video of iced coffee for coffee month for Frugal Family Food. It's kind of warm out. If you need yourself an iced coffee and you want to make it at home because you don't want to go spend six bucks for one, have someone else make it, go check out her channel. She's going to show you how to make it and it's going to taste good. So anyway, all right, you guys have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. 
And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye.